What's up data people? My name is Matthew Heffron and today's tutorial I wanted to show you that if you go to codepen.io slash viztip I've created a sample of the JavaScript API and more importantly different toolbar commands that we can use. So let's go over some of these. If we go toggle full screen we get a nice full screen. But what if a user clicks around on one of your dashboards, changes some filters, we can create a nice little button that says reset filters. They click that, your filters are reset. Bear with me that these buttons are really ugly. They have no CSS formatting. So you can add nice icons and pretty these things up and provide a really good user experience. Next, I wanted to point out this export cross tab. Sometimes this is a real big pain for users because if you have a workbook and it has multiple sheets in it, they need to know which sheet to click then they have to navigate to download and then export as cross tab and sometimes this can be confusing. So with the JavaScript API, we can create this nice export cross tab and it generates our cross tab, but the best part about it is we can actually pass in the sheet that we want the user to see. So we know exactly what the user is going to get. Some other features, download printable image. Sometimes when you download a workbook, it doesn't look good on the web. So this generates a nice image for them. We have an export PDF and refresh data. And let's go ahead and click toggle full screen. So again, if you go to codepen.io slash viztip, I have the code here and don't worry. Um, it's not that scary. I'll show you. So for instance, download printable image. We're saying unclick, we're calling export image. If we go to the JavaScript, Let's find export image. Here it is. All we're doing is calling show export image dialog. It's as simple as that. Export cross tab. All we're doing here is passing in a sheet and the sheet happens to be named West. So feel free to click around, check this out, and this might be a good solution for you guys. 